Welcome to our Run Basic demo. Today we're going to show how to style a web application using CSS or cascading style sheets. To start off, I'll show you a very simple application that has no styling and then we'll add some style to it a little bit at a time and show how that's done. So here's our example. It's a very simple calculator. It's only uh, about a page of code, maybe a little less. And let's just see what that looks like when we run it. So this is very simple, just a couple of fields and some links that perform math operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So I'll show how this works. We'll add three and four. Okay, well this works, but it's not much to look at. So let's add a banner uh, to our calculator program. So to start, Let's add a subroutine called set CSS. Okay, now I have some rules already written out so we don't have to type them all in longhand. So the first rule is to add a banner. Okay, so this rule is called set, I'm sorry, it's called CSS ID banner. And the way that you use an ID is you create a div. So let's make a div, div banner, to use the rule for banner, and then we'll end div. Now, usually you put something in between the div and the end div, but in this case we're just tying the rule to this particular div, and the rule will do everything. It will draw the banner for us. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so there we have it. And I had pre-packaged the, the banner. I drew this out beforehand, so um, we didn't have to do it here. That's nice. So now look at this area. Wouldn't it be nice if this was uh, maybe a little more colorful, um, if it was a little more structured? So why don't we create a rule that will allow us to uh, create a colored area for these uh, fields and these links that will line up with our banner. So, we'll add our next rule. Okay, here's an ID rule called calc, and it sets a background. This is a light blue, and um, it's uh, about 590 pixels and it has some padding which may actually makes it a little wider than 590 pixels but it all adds up to the width of our banner so let's use this calc rule and we'll do that by making another div and the div contains everything that draws the text and the fields and the links so let's see how that looks That's nice. So a little bit more uh, structure, uh, more um, organized looking. Now it would be great if these links would be bigger because these are a little too small um, and it would be great if we could make them look a little bit more like buttons. So why don't we do that? So here's another rule. This is our calc button rule. Now these were ID rules. You use these with divs. But when you want to style an individual element, you can use it. You can use a class rule. So this is a CSS class statement. And this um, rule is called dot calc button. And this means that it can be used on any um, object on the screen that has a class uh, of uh, calc button. So here what we have is um, we have this part here which removes the underline from the link and we have a font size. We want to make the font bigger and then we want to make this whole thing pretty big, 30 pixels by 30 pixels. And um, then uh, this stuff here, these things uh, or change the way that the, the um, 
things flow onto the page when they're rendered. And then um, here we set the background color to be a very pale blue. Uh, and then we align the text to be centered. Um, there's a lot of rules in here. There's a lot of uh, things you can do. Uh, CSS provides a lot of flexibility. But we won't make this a course in, um, in CSS. Uh, that would be that would be very long, hours long. So let's apply this class rule. The way that you do this is you send a message to the object. Let's get rid of this print statement because we won't need it anymore. Um, so you tell it what its CSS class is. And calc button. So let's see what this looks like. There we have one, and it still works. Three plus four is seven. Let's apply this to the other three links as well. Let's just move this down to the bottom. We'll make three more, and we'll send this message to the sub link. Link, div link, oops, div link, and we'll get rid of these other print statements because they're not needed anymore. I was just using them to insert some uh, gaps between the links before, although they would have just run together. Okay, let's see what that looks like. we go. Now we have four buttons. Let's add one final effect, which is uh, a hover effect, so that when we move the mouse over these, uh, they change color. For that, we need just one more little rule. Okay, this rule is called calc button colon hover, and Colon hover is a property of a widget, like a link or something else. When you mouse over it, then it applies this rule here, which would change the background color to white. And let's just change these other colors a little bit. We'll darken them up a little so that we can make a clearer distinction visually. To make this white really stand out. So we'll see what that looks like. So there we have our nice hover effect, so that when we mouse over the buttons, they light up. So that's all we're going to do um, for our, our calculator. Um, we, there's more we could do. We could have uh, added drop shadows or um, perhaps uh, tool tips and things like that. But we'll leave it uh, where it is right now. Um, hope you enjoy our demo. And until uh, next time, have fun with Run Basic.